Good morning. This morning we continue with our chapter on prayer. When we look at prayer, I want us to first look at John 14 verse 6, where Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And when Jesus taught his disciples how to pray, he started with our Father who art in heaven. He immediately showed the disciples that we have a relationship with God and we can call him Father. But he also made it clear that the only way to the Father is through him, Jesus. So we cannot pray to God through mediums, through saints, through our ancestors. We can only pray to God through Jesus. And that is our way to God. It is our access to God. So even though there are some religions that say there are many roads that lead to God, this is not truth. It is only Jesus. And Jesus told us two things. He says, do not pray like hypocrites and do not pray like the pagans. The hypocrites were people who would pray out loud, often, but their heart's motivation was to show people how religious they are, to pretend that they had a relationship with God. God is interested in our hearts and what is happening in our hearts. And that is why even though he knows what we need before we even ask him, he wants us to ask him. He wants us to be in a relationship with him where we share our deepest desires, our fears, the things we are anxious about, the things we are happy about, the thing we, things we are grateful for. He wants us to share those with him as we have a relationship with him. And that is what prayer is all about. It is our way of speaking to God. God mostly speaks to us through his word and we speak to him through prayer. So this morning I want to encourage you that when you have your time with God, the word says in Matthew 6 verse 6, but when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. There is a moment in our days where we isolate ourselves from the distractions of the world and we speak to God. We share our hearts with him. And this morning I want to encourage you, do that daily. Do that often during the day where you connect with God and you share what's on your heart with him. And I trust that you will begin to see your prayer life being blessed, that your relationship with God would grow, that your understanding of him and his word would grow as you seek him through prayer. Have a wonderful day.